And now, First Warn 5 weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Hey folks, warm across the valley again today. Temperatures over 100 in Star County, Rio Grande City, 101 right now. McAllen's 98, 89 in Raymondville, 87 at this hour in Port Isabel. Check these dew points, you know, for mid-June, this is pretty comfortable. They're still at 70 in Port Isabel, but typically it could be mid to upper 70s there in June. The rest of the valley dew points in the 60s, so we'll throw the average again on the muggy meter. We're sitting here, it's muggy, but on the low end of muggy. Typically we're up in here someplace in the very humid category. So yeah, a little bit sticky, but not as bad as it can be. Lows tonight because of the air still being relatively dry in the low 70s rather than the mid to upper 70s, the exception being the island at 78. And then tomorrow's highs, bright sunshine, back to 102 in Rio Grande City, 99 McAllen, about 95 Brownsville and the beach should top out around 89, maybe 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. In the middle of June, we typically get to the mid 90s, about 94 is the 30 year average and we'll be above that 96, 97 and 95 records are well above that. Those will not be threatened. Here's Texas tonight and it's relatively quiet. We've got stuff starting to show up out in West Texas. Now there's an upper air disturbance making its way into the state. It's not particularly strong, but it's on the map nonetheless, and it will be moving eastward over the next few days as it does. Maybe even southeastward. It will trigger some rain in North Texas. This is tomorrow. Here's Saturday, but not so much in South Texas. Most of the energy from this staying way north, so we end up uh, pretty much missing out on any rain from this. It's a very weak disturbance, not enough to cause any issues here. Notice by Sunday the sea breeze tries to activate, so maybe a stray isolated shower on Sunday, but not much more than that. And then we go completely dry again from Monday into Tuesday with no real push of moisture or cool air anytime soon. Here's a closer look at the valley tonight. Things are quiet. Patchy clouds show up late. But by tomorrow afternoon, we're back to partly to mostly sunny skies once again. And with that sunshine, that helps those temperatures warm back into the mid 90s. Sea breeze probably won't have much luck activating tomorrow. Like today, maybe an isolated shower in the coastal counties, but that's about it. Saturday, we don't see much chance of rain at all. Should be a dry day. And then Sunday, that very slight chance for a shower. Maybe an isolated thunder shower with the sea breeze during the afternoon. A little breezier, but still a pretty mild day with temperatures back into the mid to upper 90s once again. So anything tomorrow would be isolated on the sea breeze, coastal counties, and it dies like today. Saturday, we'll even see that. And then Sunday, enough moisture for maybe something on the sea breeze once again. But for the most part, it is dry once again. If you're headed to the coast, here we go. In the morning, temperatures start. Notice how quickly it warms up. 87 by about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Southeasterly winds tomorrow. The UV index remains extreme. The rip current risk is low right now. The surf temperature at a very warm 83 degrees. By evening, your beach temperatures, your air temperature is about 81. Here are the tides. There are two. The high is at 635 in the morning. The low at 939 tomorrow night. The bay temperature is 87 with a moderate chop. Seas running about 2 to 3 feet. So tonight, 72 for a low. Mostly clear, not all that muggy. Yeah, humid, but not like it could be this time of year. Then tomorrow, back up to 96. Mostly sunny skies. Uh, if there's an isolated shower on the sea breeze, that's about all we would expect. For the most part, it's a dry day across 98% of the valley. Looks like Saturday and Sunday should be mainly dry as well. 95 on Sunday. Then next week, we actually get warmer. It doesn't cool off. We're in the mid to upper 90s for most of the next week. Nighttime lows in the 70s through the forecast period. But even those numbers come up as we head through the middle of next week. That is your updated First One Five forecast.